Hello, I am Sebastian Delorme, and I give red pill relationship advice for men. I am the webmaster of Defam.club. I found that some toxic women use their boyfriend, husband and even ex to build or renovate things on their property for free. They use these men as free manpower. I am going to talk about two case studies where women took advantage of their boyfriend's manual labor. Case study number one. I knew a woman named Gabriella who was in her 40s. She inherited a house in a beautiful ski resort of Italy. Her husband did some renovation work inside the house for several years. Unfortunately, his wife divorced him. During the divorce court proceedings, the former husband tried to assert that he contributed a lot to the house value. The court didn't take into account his request. The mountain chalet was old so that new renovation work was needed. This woman started to visit hardware stores even if she had nothing to buy. She never did masonry, and she wasn't willing to do any masonry job. In the past, she used to hire a professional mason to do some work but she found he was too expensive. She met once a handyman in a hardware store. First, she hired him to do some work in her main house. She seduced him and he became her boyfriend. She drove him to her second home and asked him to renovate the chalet. He agreed and he started to renovate the house. After six months, he stopped when he understood he was manipulated by this woman. He was used like a free worker and left her. Afterwards, she found a new boyfriend. She brought him to the mountain chalet but he left her after few weeks. At last, this woman dated a third boyfriend who did some renovation work in the house in the backyard. People saw the third boyfriend spreading gravels in his girlfriend backyard and smooth it with a rake. As I am writing these lines, the third boyfriend is doing some masonry work on the terrace. Even if she was the landlord, the woman never helped her men. She only ordered them to work. No renovation work was performed in the property of this woman for many years after her divorce. Gabriella said that she wanted to retire in this second home in the future. This is why she suddenly convinced several men to renovate the said house. She was single for many years and decided at some point to have boyfriends to renovate the inherited house. She was attractive when she was younger, and she took advantage of the beauty that was left to lure men into her trap. She has partially hit the wall but was still looking good in the eyes of many men. It is impressive because she was able to activate her seduction techniques after the age of 45 to lure men. She owns now a renovated house thanks to the hard work of her boyfriends and it didn't cost her a dime. Case study number 2. A woman possessed a house which was offered by her parents. She pretended that she built her custom kitchen. In reality, she was hiding that a man built her custom kitchen. This man was her ex-boyfriend. He also converted her attic into an office room. I don't really understand this relationship with this ex-boyfriend. I have some ideas, but it would not be YouTube friendly to reveal them here. I will expose my ideas in a podcast for the members of my Patreon account. Coming back to this problem, she didn't say she paid anyone to build the custom kitchen. I think she could afford to pay somebody to install the custom kitchen. Usually, it costs a significant amount of money to hire somebody to build a custom kitchen. In my country, her custom kitchen would have cost $6,000. The said woman was a heavy spender and I know she could not afford a $6,000 custom kitchen. She worked half-time as a postman and she was single. She bought the kitchen appliances at Ikea. Her synth built it. I analyze these two case studies in a podcast for the members of my Patreon account. Please find the link to my Patreon account below.